images that should hopefully, as I have kept reiterating tonight, shake our conscience as Indians. BJP MLA, Vung Zagin Valte, has been discharged from hospital, but his story is a story that, in my view, represents the real trauma of Manipur. Someone who was an MLA, three-time MLA, in the heart of the city being assaulted and left virtually paralyzed, his driver killed. Today, as I sat with him, for the first time, he began having some food. For two months, he's been in hospital. It's a long struggle for him. The sad truth is there's been very little empathy. None of, or very few of his colleagues have met him. No senior ministers have visited him, barring one or two. And the fact is, a long struggle lies ahead of him. Someone who spent 27 years in State Bank, then became an MLA, once with the Congress, twice with the BJP. Someone who simply reminds me of what happens when hate and conflict takes over. It destroys lives. I only can hope and pray that Mr. Valte will be back on his feet. More importantly, that those responsible for him are held accountable. People who have resorted to violence of this kind must be booked. It cannot be unknown persons. Whether a woman is stripped in a village or whether someone is targeted in this manner, those responsible must be held guilty. Empathy and accountability must be the two words as we wish Mr. Valte and his family a speedy recovery. Think about it, go to sleep tonight and say a silent prayer for the people of Manipur. Cry for Manipur, pray for its people.